Cargill's manager grabs a microphone and challenges Texas, questioning if they can provide stronger competition. As the tension builds, Genesis enters the ring as the second challenger. Cargill wastes no time, dominating the match and ultimately defeating Genesis with her signature move Jaded. Sterling sees Jade Cargill's open challenge for her TBS championship. The bell rings, and the crowd roars with anticipation as Jade Cargill delivers a powerful forearm strike to B quickly followed by a fallaway slam and a devastating pump kick, securing her victory and retaining the TBS championship win. In the second remarkable match of the evening, a mixed trios match brought together an explosive clash between Mark Briscoe, Papa Briscoe, and Aubrey Edwards against the formidable trio of Jay Lethal, Jeff Jarrett, and Karen Jarrett. The atmosphere crackled with anticipation as Jay Lethal, Jeff and Karen Jarrett, Sanjay Dutt, and Satnam Singh made their grand entrance. Following suit, Mark Briscoe, Papa Briscoe, and Aubrey Edwards emerged, ready to engage in a thrilling encounter. The battle commenced with a gripping lockup between Mark and Jay, setting the stage for an epic showdown. Mark swiftly gained the upper hand, executing a powerful shoulder tackle before tagging in Jeff. In a display of technical prowess, Jeff retaliated with an impressive arm drag. But Mark countered with a series of resounding chops and a skillful arm drag of his own, asserting his dominance. Before long, Karen and Aubrey eagerly tagged in, ready to showcase their abilities. Aubrey called for Karen to engage in a lockup, but Karen shrewdly tagged Lethal into the fray. Mark, ever the relentless competitor, re-entered the match, relentlessly wearing Lethal down. Not to be outdone, Papa Briscoe tagged in and sent Lethal crashing into the corner, leaving him disoriented. Mark swiftly returned to the fray, unleashing a devastating suplex before ascending to the top rope, electrifying the crowd. As the action unfolded, Mark exhibited his unwavering resilience, delivering a thunderous double clothesline that left Jeff and Lethal reeling. Papa Briscoe eagerly tagged in, exhibiting his raw power with a pair of bone-jarring clotheslines, culminating in a thunderous spear. With the tension escalating, Edwards and Karen were granted their turn in the ring. Edwards showcased her ferocity, raining down a flurry of right and left hands upon Karen before executing a pair of snapmares, leaving her dazed. Karen, desperate to turn the tide, resorted to a ruthless eye rake and cunningly retrieved a guitar from the ringside. However, Edwards, fueled by determination, wrestled the guitar away from Karen, threatening to strike her with it. Sensing an opportunity, Lethal intervened, placing himself between the two fierce women and daring Edwards to use the guitar on him instead, as Singh cunningly diverted the referee's attention. Edwards capitalized on the chaos, smashing the guitar into Lethal's unsuspecting frame. With Lethal incapacitated, Karen attempted to regain control, setting up for her signature move, the stroke. However, Edwards astutely countered, expertly planting Karen and swiftly locking in the excruciating figure four leg lock, leaving Karen with no choice but to submit. In a display of unmatched teamwork and tenacity, Mark Briscoe, Papa Briscoe, and Aubrey Edwards emerged victorious, solidifying their dominance in an electrifying mixed trios match that will be remembered. W Rampage delivered an electrifying showdown between Hikaru Shida and Marina Shaffer, leaving fans on the edge of their seats. As the bell echoed through the arena, the two fierce competitors locked up, signaling the start of an intense clash. Shida wasted no time, unleashing a barrage of thunderous forearms and a stunning dropkick, showcasing her remarkable agility. However, Shaffer proved to be a formidable adversary as she skillfully tripped Shida and retaliated with a series of swift and punishing kicks. Demonstrating her strength, Shaffer hoisted Shida onto her shoulders and executed a powerful hip toss, leaving the crowd in awe. Seizing the opportunity, Shaffer attempted a pin but Sheeta exhibited her resilience by kicking out with determination. Not one to be discouraged, Sheeta swiftly countered with a forceful forearm strike, but Shafir retaliated in kind, raining down a flurry of right hands upon her opponent. With precision and brutality, Shaffer delivered a devastating knee to Sheeta's head, leaving her reeling. Seizing the high ground, ascended to the top rope, preparing to unleash a breathtaking aerial assault. In a moment of sheer agility and instinct, Sheeta managed to evade Shaffer's impending onslaught, narrowly escaping disaster. However, Shaffer quickly shifted gears, latching onto Sheeta's ankle with a relentless ankle lock submission. Despite the excruciating pain, Sheeta refused to surrender and demonstrated her resilience by swiftly freeing herself from the hold. With the tides turning, Sheeta seized the opportunity and executed a breathtaking falcon arrow, planting Shafir into the canvas with undeniable force. Building on her momentum, Sheeta unleashed her devastating finishing maneuver, the katana, ensuring her victory and leaving the crowd in awe of her prowess. With the, the first bout ignited with intense energy as Taya Valkyrie faced off against the formidable Trish Adora. As the bell chimed, Valkyrie wasted no time and unleashed a barrage of thunderous forearms upon Adora. She swiftly followed up with a spine-chilling chop, further tormenting her opponent. With precision, Valkyrie aimed a swift kick to Adora's midsection, swiftly transitioning into a thunderous clothesline in the corner. Seizing the opportunity, Valkyrie executed her signature double running knees and sought a pinfall, but to everyone's surprise, Adora resiliently kicked out, refusing to succumb. Undeterred by Adora's resilience, Valkyrie regained her composure and retaliated with a series of punishing forearms targeting Adora's midsection. Adora, however, showcased her resiliency, countering with a powerful back elbow. But Valkyrie's fierce determination could not be denied as she countered with a venomous kick to Adora's spine, leaving her stunned. In a final display of dominance, Valkyrie delivered a bone-shattering spear, swiftly immobilizing Adora before tying her legs up. 
With a resounding kick to Adora's spine, Valkyrie emerged victorious, claiming a hard-fought win. In the second electrifying Owen Hart tournament qualifier match, the crowd was treated to an intense showdown between Sky Blue and Anna Jay. The match began with a gripping collar lockup that escalated into a fierce confrontation in the corner as Anna delivered a resounding smack to Sky's face. Undeterred, Sky quickly regrouped and re-entered the ring, only to be met with a forceful hip attack from Anna. Showing her resilience, Sky retaliated with a jawbreaker followed by a swift drop-down pinning combination. But Anna managed to kick out in the nick of time. Momentum swung back and forth as Sky executed a seamless snapmare, countering with a powerful hip attack of her own. However, her charging maneuver backfired, resulting in her entanglement with the ropes. Seizing the opportunity, Anna forcefully propelled Sky's head towards the outside of the ring proceeding to deliver a devastating DDT. With the action intensifying, Anna pressed her boot firmly against Sky's face, asserting her dominance as the match headed into the next set of commercial breaks. The battle resumed, and Anna attempted a cover, yet Sky somehow summoned the strength to kick out. Undeterred, Sky unleashed a barrage of forearm strikes and a well-placed knee to Anna's midsection. Gaining some much-needed momentum, taking advantage of the situation, Sky forcefully planted Anna's head into the turnbuckle pad, swiftly followed by a stunning kick to the face and a breathtaking diving crossbody for a near fall. Displaying her agility, Anna executed an impressive hooked kick, reminiscent of Booker T's signature move, and immediately capitalized on it with a backstabber, hoping to secure a pinfall. But Sky refused to be defeated, resiliently kicking out once again. Anna then resorted to her devastating finishing move, the Widow's Peak, and made another pinning attempt. To everyone's surprise, Sky defiantly kicked out, displaying her unwavering determination. With the match reaching its climax, Anna decided to employ her lethal Queen Slayer submission hold, signaling Sky's impending defeat. However, just when it seemed that Sky's resistance was waning, she summoned her last reserves of strength, launching Anna headfirst into the lowest turnbuckle pad. Seizing the opportunity, Sky swiftly executed a precise side kick, followed by her signature move, the Code Blue, securing a hard-fought victory. The crowd erupted in thunderous applause and cheers as Sky Blue emerged triumphant from this grueling encounter, securing her spot in the next stage of the Owen Hart tournament to secure the victory. In the highly anticipated main event of EW Rampage, the stage was set for a monumental showdown between Hikaru Shida and Taya Valkyrie. The atmosphere inside the arena was electric as fans eagerly awaited the clash between these two fierce competitors. As the bell rang, signaling the start of the main event, Shida and Valkyrie wasted no time engaging in a heated lockup. The intensity in their eyes was palpable as they vied for dominance inside the ring. It was Valkyrie who struck first, executing a devastating maneuver that sent Shida crashing face first into the mat. The impact reverberated throughout the arena, momentarily silencing the crowd. However, true to her resilient nature, Sheeta quickly recovered, showcasing her incredible agility and technical prowess with a lightning-fast arm drag. The audience erupted in cheers, fully invested in the back-and-forth action unfolding before their eyes. As the match progressed, the pendulum swung back and forth, with each competitor gaining the upper hand at different moments. Sheeta and the battle spilled outside the ring, intensifying the spectacle. Seizing the opportunity, Sheeta reached under the ring and retrieved a steel chair, intending to deliver a brutal stomp to Valkyrie. The anticipation in the crowd grew as Sheeta raised the chair high above of her head, ready to unleash havoc upon her opponent. But Valkyrie, displaying her remarkable instincts, managed to evade the attack, narrowly escaping harm's way. With the action back inside the ring, the pace escalated to a fever pitch. Sheeta's resilience shone through as she delivered a resounding enziguri. However, Valkyrie quickly regained her composure, responding with an impactful forearm strike, forcing Sheeta to rethink her strategy. The match reached its climax as both competitors dug deep, unleashing their signature moves in an attempt to secure victory. Sheeta, propelled by the unwavering support of the crowd, executed a jaw-dropping duplex on the unforgiving floor outside the ring, showcasing her unmatched strength and determination. Not content with just that, she ascended to the apron, defying gravity with a breathtaking meteor that left the audience in awe of her athleticism and precision. The tension in the arena was palpable as the match neared its conclusion. Sheeta tossed Valkyrie back into the ring, determined to seal the victory. With each competitor displaying unwavering resolve, they traded blows with incredible speed and precision. Sheeta delivered a lightning-fast sliding forearm, but Valkyrie responded with a double running knee strike, leaving Sheeta momentarily stunned. Sensing the opportunity, Valkyrie went for the pin, hoping to secure the win. But Sheeta, showing her resilience, defiantly kicked out, sending shockwaves of excitement throughout the crowd. As the match entered its final moments, the intensity reached a fever pitch. Valkyrie attempted to lock in a submission hold, aiming to force Sheeta into submission. However, Sheeta's technical prowess came into play as she expertly escaped the clutches of Valkyrie's maneuver, leaving the audience in awe of her skill and determination. In a stunning turn of events, Valkyrie looked to execute her devastating finisher, the road to Valhalla, hoping to secure the victory. However, Sheeta, displaying her unmatched ring awareness, flawlessly rolled through the maneuver, catching Valkyrie off guard. The referee's hand hit the mat for the final time, and the crowd erupted as Sheeta successfully reversed the pinfall attempt initiated by Valkyrie, emerging triumphant in the main event of EW Ramp. The anticipation continued to build throughout the evening, 
leading up to the main event match featuring Sky Blue, Nyla Rose, Mercedes Martinez, and Britt Baker in a highly competitive Fatal 4-Way No. 1 Contenders match. The bell rang, and chaos ensued as Rose targeted Blue, while Martinez sent Baker tumbling out of the ring before pursuing her. Baker fought back, striking Martinez with her knee, while Blue managed to send Rose crashing into the top turnbuckle. Undeterred, Blue retaliated with a powerful back elbow against Rose, followed by a boot to Martinez. Seizing the opportunity, Blue eliminated Rose from the equation and executed a breathtaking hurricane Rana on Martinez. However, Baker returned to the fray, focusing her aggression on Blue, while Rose shifted her attention towards Baker. Martinez capitalized on the commotion, unleashing a barrage of punishing strikes to Rose's spine, but Marina Shafir, who had been at ringside, intervened, engaging in a confrontation with Martinez. Surprisingly, Hikaru Shida emerged, brandishing a kendo stick and chasing Shafir away from the scene. As the show returned from a commercial break, Rose positioned Shafir on the top rope, preparing to deliver a devastating move. However, Baker intervened, shoving Rose off the turnbuckle and causing her to crash to the outside. Baker swiftly capitalized, executing a flawless sling blade on Martinez and following it up with a powerful elbow strike on Blue. Unfazed, Blue countered with a well-placed thrust kick and an enziguri, attempting to secure the pinfall, only to be interrupted by Martinez who broke up the count. Baker, not one to back down, trapped Martinez in her lockjaw submission hold, while Blue applied her own submission maneuver. However, Rose emerged from the chaos, breaking up the submission attempts. Demonstrating incredible resilience, both Blue and Baker executed a remarkable, double superkick, staggering Rose. Baker seized the opportunity, connecting with a devastating superkick on Blue, but Rose swiftly turned the tables, planting Baker on the canvas and aiming for the pinfall. Yet, Martinez intervened, delivering a thunderous running knee to Rose and subsequently executing a suplex. With Rose momentarily neutral Baker capitalized with a curb stomp, but Martinez promptly eliminated her from the ring. Baker retaliated, launching a series of forearm strikes against Martinez on the outside, leaving Blue with a golden opportunity. In a stunning turn of events, Blue capitalized on the chaos surrounding her and executed her signature move, the Code Blue, on Rose, securing the victory and earning the title of the number one contender. The AEW Rampage episode concluded with Sky Blue standing tall, having triumphed in an intense battle against formidable opponents. The show left fans eagerly anticipating the future matchups and the continuation of riveting storylines within the women's division of All Elite Wrestling.